Today we're going to learn how to use the color replacement tool. So go ahead and open the color replacement tool project and you're going to work along with me using the cardinal bird and then you're going to have another assignment. Okay, this bird is red, but if we wanted this bird to be blue, a lot of people would choose a blue color. Let me choose a paintbrush. First of all, whoops. I would want to make a copy of the background layer always. So control J to make a copy. Um, some people would choose a blue color that they like. And begin to paint. And obviously, you know, that's just going to paint over the bird. So you'll, you'll no longer, you'll be able to see that there's a bird shape there, but it's, it doesn't look like a bird. Um, you could decrease the opacity, but it's not going to look natural. So Photoshop has this really cool thing called a color replacement tool. And I'll show you how that works. You're going to choose your color, the foreground color, and then it's under the paintbrush if you'll right click and go to color replacement tool. Now it has some options up here at the top. I'm going to choose a smaller brush. And then the mode, we're going to keep it on color because we want to actually change the color. You can play around with the different um, options here, hue, saturation, luminosity, but for now we're going to keep it on color. And then there's continuous sampling, sampling one time, and what does this one mean? I can't remember, but sampling a background swatch. We're going to keep it on continuous sampling. The way that the color replacement tool works is it will replace this red color, but it's going to keep all the shadows and all the texture that's already in the bird so that it still looks like a bird. And then contiguous, we want to keep it on contiguous. That means um, that it'll, it'll continue painting like um, colors around where you're clicking. If you did non-contiguous or discontiguous, it may, when you select here, it may paint some berries down here, which you don't want to happen. Okay, so we're just going to keep it on contiguous. We won't really change anything, honestly, except for the paintbrush size. But please play around with them. Okay, so as you start painting, this is just like the paintbrush. If you get outside, it's going to paint the outside. So, let me undo that. Before you start, you may want to use a selection tool. and try to select just the bird. That way as you're painting you don't really have to worry about it. So I'm going to do this real quickly. You'll take your time um, and get in here with the little feathers. I would zoom in, get my color replacement tool, make the brush size much smaller, and get all these little feathers without getting out of the lines. So when you're finished, um, it should look probably a little better than mine. You may want to decrease the opacity just a little bit. Mine turned out too bright. so. I would say if you were just now starting to choose maybe a little darker shade of blue. Alright, so you're going to do the bird, and then I want you to choose another picture to do this on. I've got some pictures in your drive in the color replacement tool folder that you can use. Keep in mind, this will not work very well on white. I'm doing it right now on white, and you can barely see that I'm doing it. And it also doesn't work well on black. So if you wanted to change the color of something black or white, you're probably out of luck. You need to choose something that has color in it. 